kitchen. Um, it's nighttime. It's like 20 till eight. And I thought, I want to make a treat tonight for, I always say it's for Chris, but it's like for both of us. Um, and so I was looking through recipes and I came across one for like a strawberry mousse. And I decided to try and turn it into kind of like a no bake strawberry cheesecake type thing. So it's kind of like an experimental dessert, but I think regardless of how it turns out, I think it's going to be really, really good. So we are going to start with a crust. Now, instead of graham crackers, I use almond flour and almond flour, I think it's crooked there. Almond flour is, it's basically just very finely ground up almonds. I mean, that's all it is. That's all that is is almond and it's ground up into this fine, fine thing. So it works great for a substitute for um, like a sugar-free graham cracker crust. Now, what I try to do to add a little flavor to it one tablespoon of Splenda brown sugar to this. And I'm just kind of gonna break it up and stir it around a little bit. All right, and then I'm going to add one stick of butter. Okay, we're gonna stir that around. Put that bowl in the sink, stir this around. It get kind of wet with butter. Okay, it seems like it's a little wet, so I got my almond flour out again. And I'm just gonna add a little bit more to it. You want it to be not too wet, but you know, I'll show you when we get there. Okay, this is already so much better. And see, you're kind of gonna have like a crumbly, uh, wet, doughy looking stuff, but we're gonna put it in our baking dish. Push it down, get a nice crust. not going to be exactly the consistency of a graham cracker crust, but it's going to be pretty darn close. And if you're trying to avoid sugars, it, it really is a good product to keep on hand. And you can, you can do so many quick and easy desserts with a, a base like this, you know, you could dump a sugar-free chocolate pudding on top and call it chocolate pudding bars or <laughs> pretty much anything. I'm trying to get it as even as I possibly can. So we don't have one side with a really thick crust and the other side with a you know, skinny little. Okay, that's what it's gonna look like. And like I said, it's, it works so much like a graham cracker base. So, all right, I'm gonna set this aside and get my other ingredients and I'll be right back. We're ready for step two, which is cream cheese and strawberries. Um, and we use the food processor, which I have had a food processor for many years. My, my mom got me one for Christmas and I've never used it. So tonight we're gonna use it for the very first time. I watched videos on it. I've cleaned it. I So we're gonna hope for the best here. Okay. It's gonna call for two packages of cream cheese. They're both eight ounce. I'm just kind of put it in here. Like this. Alright. I'm really, really unsure about this whole food processor thing, but we're gonna give it a go. We'll give it our best shot. And we're gonna do this. And it says two pulse. you I am going to absolutely love this and I'm wondering why did I wait so long to try this 
All right, now we're going to drop strawberries in there. Uh, it says to use eight ounces of strawberries, so that's what I'm gonna add in here. I'll start with that and we'll see what happens. Oh, this thing, I'm, I'm absolutely loving this. Thank you, Mom. I should have used this a long time ago. Okay, we're going to add a fourth of a teaspoon of stevia liquid to this. And we're going to add a tablespoon of sugar-free lemon jello. Gelatin, not jello, gelatin. Now we're going to transfer this mixture into uh, the bowl for use your hand mixer if you need to. Okay, here's the fun part. Okay, it took me just a minute to figure out how to detach the bowl, but I figured it out. This is amazing. Okay, now we're going to add half a cup of heavy cream to this, directly to this, and we're going to let it fluff up in the mixer. And I have to go over here to do this because I have a very, very small kitchen and I can't fit everything right here. So I'm trying to show you, I'm doing half a cup into this. Okay, and I'm back, and this is what it's gonna look like. And it's all fluffed up. And what I did is I added another half cup of the whipping cream to this because it was not fluffing up. I mean, it was just sort of fluffing a little bit, but it was definitely not looking like this, where it's kind of like light and fluffy at this point. So I did add an extra half a cup of whipping cream to it. So now we're just going to put it in here on top of the crust that we made. Oh, it just looks so good and it smells really good too. If you like strawberries, I think this would be a hit. I just had to come back because I was just about to start cleaning up and I tasted this and oh my goodness, it is really good. This is what I have from like scraping the bowl. It is so good. So if this alone tastes as good, I think it's gonna be probably a fairly decent treat, recipe, dessert. So I think we'll definitely like this. Um, we will come back and finish it up, but I just had to tell you this stuff is so good. Usually I am a fairly confident cook at this point in my life, but this one kind of had me a little bit shaken up a little because of, for one, I had never used a food processor before. And even though I had watched how-to videos and all of that, I was still a little bit nervous because like I said, when I was unpacking it and cleaning it, there were so many warning stickers. Like, you know, you could lose a finger basically is what it kept saying is, you don't want to lose a finger. You don't want to lose an eye. Do this, do that. Don't do that or you lose a finger. And so, I don't know. I just thought I would pop back on real quick and say, this is really good. And I'm looking forward to finishing it up in two hours. See you then. Hey guys, welcome back. It is almost 10 o'clock. It's been pretty close to two hours. And now we're gonna do our next step, which is, let me measure this really quick. Okay, we take two cups of 
heavy whipping cream and we're just going to whip it with, I'm gonna use my hand mixer and I'm just going to uh, whip it until it, you know, forms soft, soft little peaks. Fluffy peaks. Okay. okay, this has set up really nicely. As you can see, I'm like wiggling and jiggling, and it is just really set up nice. So now, what we're going to do is top it. Okay, I made a little too much whipping cream. There you can see. And now it's going back in the refrigerator. And when Chris wakes up later, well, he should be getting up. He should already be up. He should be downstairs getting ready for work. I've got everything such a mess in here now. Um, we'll do a quick taste test. Oh boy, oh boy. What is this? That is my version of a sugar-free strawberry cheesecake bar. Wow, that so. looks absolutely yummy. So you're, you're my guinea pig. You're uh, going to taste it and tell us what you think. Right. Sadie would love to be a guinea pig. All right. Well, she's going to get cookies or something instead. Mmm, <laughs> mmm, mmm. Wow. Wow. I like that. It's tart. I like the Is tart. Is it tart? Yeah, it's tart. Well, it, I put a tablespoon of lemon jello. Oh, okay. All right, why, why, why is it called for that? Well, I have a feeling it's because, see, I kind of combined a couple of recipes and turned it into this. I think it's because when you use stevia, maybe it doesn't set up as firm as sugar or Splenda would. Maybe okay. I'm completely wrong about that, but that would be my guess. And the Jello kind of just helps it. Well, I like it a lot. I can taste the strawberries, very creamy. The crust is great. That's um, almond flour. Yeah, I like it a lot. Yay! This is a good one. Good job. Great. And there's Sadie Wadey. Hi, friends. I'm Sadie. And I think you should like this video. Click subscribe and the little bell, too. That way you know every time my mommy and daddy upload a new video. Thanks!